Good afternoon, friends. Very excited. It's Tuesday afternoon, and it's a chance for me to share stamping with you. Always on Tuesday afternoon, I call it Tuesday at 2. We get to share some stamping. We get to connect together, and... Yeah, it's a perfect day today. It's kind of snowy out here in Markham and gray, and it's a perfect excuse to stay inside and craft and get inspired by crafting. Oh, good. Hi, Allison. Good afternoon. We'll see who else joins us. Um, so we are at the start of a new month. It's an exciting day. It's December the 1st which for those of us who are demonstrators is a super exciting day because we got to do some pre-ordering for the January to June mini catalog. So that's one of the huge, huge perks of being a demonstrator is we kind of get first, first dibs, first whatever, first access to uh, checking out what's in the new catalog and ordering what's in the new catalog. And um, we had availability to finally order the mini cut and emboss machine. So uh, that was an exciting day for me. I ordered my little machine and I ordered some new things from the new catalog. Um, so it was very exciting. Oh, hi, I think I saw Cindy and Donna and Sharon. Welcome, welcome. Um, so yes, if you love having access to the products first, if you love to get things first, if you love to see what's first, then now is a good time to um, join up with the Stampin' Up! family. I would love to have you join my team, uh, the Team Stick Stampers. We have always all kinds of stuff going on with the Team Stick Stampers. And uh, yeah, so if you wanna get your hands on the new stuff, um, it's a great time to, to let me know and then you can fill up your starter kit with some of the new things. I'm just reading, sorry, I keep pausing because I'm just reading. i reading all the comments that go by <laughs> and I think I can't read fast enough. The comments are disappearing off the screen before I can see them, but I think I saw Kathy had a question, so no problem. We can uh, message after, after Tuesday at two and I can help you out. Um, Okay, so a couple of housekeeping activities. One is I have two weeks of prizes to give away. So each week on Tuesday at two, um, I love to read your comments. So I'm sorry that I don't actually reply individually to each and every one of them, but I do go back and take a look. So it just is great to see comments when I'm doing my live and it's great to read them afterwards. So comment away, ask your questions, tell me what you think of the projects, Tell me how the weather is, where you are, whatever. It just makes me feel like we're connecting. And so I like to give a little prize out. Um, so, oh, thank you. Yes, Jennifer also shared, but anybody can share my video onto your um, Facebook groups or Facebook um, feed. And it's just my way of getting to share happy stamping with more people. So I love to do that. Um, okay, housekeeping items. Last week's winner... Um, was Norma. I think I saw Norma um, hop on. Norma, are you on? You were the winner from last week's Facebook Live. Now, I I know I always forget to mention this, but it is just uh, the prizes. I do just mail them if you are in Canada. And Norma, I couldn't tell. I don't have your address or anything. So if you could message me your address and um, assuming you're in Canada and I'll, I'll send you a little prize. So thank you for watching and commenting. So that was last week's winner, I believe, and I was behind. So the week before, the winner was Rana. Okay, so Rana, I know I have your address, so I can pop a little prize to you. So thank you for participating with me and enjoying with me. Oh, great, Norma, you are on. I thought I saw you hop on, great. Okay, so just message me your address and I can send you a little prize. Thanks for enjoying with me. Okay, I have a few other announcements. Today is the very last day um, to register for my December events. So I've been talking about it all month and hopefully we're getting into the groove that the first of the month is always the deadline for the classes happening that month. So um, today is the last day to register and I know you guys out there are just like me. <laughs> 
We're going to wait till the final hours until it's like, oh no, doors are closing. Okay, I want to get in for this, this, and this. So already last night and this morning, I think some of you are getting into the groove that you know December 1st is the cutoff. So I was already getting some messages and, and uh, registrations on the form. So I think there's more of you out there that haven't yet taken advantage to register for my December classes. Today's the last day. Um, so you just go to bit.ly backslash Stampin' for Fun December, and you can register for any classes, optional add-ons, and all that stuff. So let me flip the camera over. Um, I'll do a little bit of a spotlight on the Mary Moose class, which is today's the last day to register. And then, oh, before I flip the camera over, I wanna tell you something different I wanna do today. Okay. Um, so I, I'm just giving you pre-warning of what I'm doing today so that when I kind of switch over, you'll know what I'm, what's going on. So in my mind, for quite a while now, for many months now, I've had this idea that I wanted to do a video that would be appropriate for people to watch who have never stamped before, who have never, ever stamped before. And, um because especially um, because now I can't like meet people at the coffee shop and show them how to stamp or I can't say, hey, come on over to my Sweet and Simple and you can use my stamps and I'll just show you how to stamp. We can't do that anymore. We're kind of all locked down, isolated here, but it doesn't mean that stamping isn't a wonderful hobby to have and a wonderful thing to get into. But if you've never stamped before, how do you start? So I thought I would, I, I've always kind of wanted to do a video, but I never seemed to have the time. And then I thought, oh, why don't I just incorporate it with my Tuesday at two video? So that's what I'm gonna try today. Although I suddenly realized I wanted to get out a kit and I forgot to get it. So you might have to, you know, talk amongst yourselves <laughs> while I run and get it. But um, I'm kind of hoping, I don't have really fantastic technological skills, but I'm kind of hoping that when I have this video done and everything, that someone will be able to teach me how to edit out the first part of it where I'm telling you about all the prizes and the classes and everything. And then I can just kind of use the part where I'm sharing the products to put on my blog so that anytime I want to share stamping with brand new people who have never stamped, it'll be there. But it might not work. My plan might not work, but that's okay. <laughs> It's always good to try new things and we'll find out as we go. But just because I'm thinking of sharing stamping with brand new people today, it doesn't mean those of you who aren't already experienced stampers won't find um, the projects that I'm showing interesting. I still enjoyed making them, so hopefully you'll still enjoy seeing them. Okay, yes, you're right, Allison. I, my plan is to actually ask my son um, because I'm thinking he'll know how to edit the video. <laughs> he'll know how to do something so that it'll be okay. Um, okay, talk amongst yourselves for one second. I'm going to get a kit and then I'm going to flip over the camera. Okay, so, uh, yep. Okay, I think we are good to go. I'm going to flip over the camera and we're going to get started on today's Tuesday at 2. Thank you to everyone who's joining in and let me flip the camera over here. I try not to move too fast because if you're like me, it's easy to get dizzy and I don't have any fancy camera equipment that <laughs> I'm just using my phone here. So let's see whether we can, uh, oh, that's quite a shadow. Let's see whether we can get rid of that. Hopefully that's a bit better there. Bring the light up. Okay. So friends, a couple of announcements. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you just a, little sneak peek of a um, couple of the cards from the Mary Moose class. Okay. And so in the Mary Moose class, you'd be making eight cards. So you get two of each design. So here's a couple from the class. And the class actually includes the Mary Moose stamp set. And you can upgrade to get the punch at a discounted price. So if you're interested in this class or any of my other December classes, Make sure to register here, um, bit.ly Stampin' for Fun December. Um, make sure to register by today. And because I pretty much order the supplies tomorrow and then I get cutting next week and get the packets out because um, the class will be the following week. Okay, so 
that is that. And then this one is a specialty event. Um, so it has its own registration link. If you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I know many of you are out there, because if you love Stampin' Up! product, this is the place to be, be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So this is the third time now my team member and I, um, Zara Premji and I, we are running a demonstrator stamp and share event to showcase the new catalog coming out. So... I can't show you the inside, but there's lots of beautiful things. I can show you this, that it's not that many, really. <laughs> there's tons of things in there. So you're going to want to get lots of inspiration. Um, so those of you that are demonstrators, anyone in Canada is welcome to register. On January the 16th, we will be having an online event um, that includes demonstration of 12 make-and-take projects. We'll have... Um, other stamping demonstrations. Uh, we will have um, demonstrator business training. We'll have some guest speakers. So it's really a chock full day. Um, and you're really going to get a lot of great, great creative inspiration, but also business inspiration. Uh, so the deadline to register is December 8th. So you've got not very much time left, about a week. And the registration link is here, Stamp and Share January. Okay, it's a bit.ly link, Stamp and Share January. Okay, so we've had a good time the last couple times we've done it. We've It's a great chance to network with other demonstrators in Canada. And yeah, we all, all always learn a lot together. So just a quick reminder about that event. Okay, so let's get started. If... If you missed my little introduction, um, my name is Genevieve Coe, and I love sharing stamping. But one of the questions I get sometimes is, how do I get started? It must be a really expensive hobby, and it's really easy to feel overwhelmed that you need lots and lots of stuff to enjoy stamping. So I thought we'd go back to the basics today and um, introduce a stamp set. So I'll be using this stamp set called Cute Fruit, okay? But one thing when you start with stamping, um, stamps are important, but I like to use the acronym SIP, S-I-P. So that stands for Stamps, Ink, and Paper. So today when I share some stamping with you, um, um, I'm going to be sharing... Um, stamps, ink, and paper, and what you can do with it. Okay, so I'm just reading Kathy's comment here. So good question, Kathy. Normally I do Tuesday at 2 every Tuesday, but since we're in December, I am taking a couple of weeks off. I will not be doing the 22nd and the 29th. I won't be doing. Um, so this week I purposely plan that we do two projects. Okay, so... Um, what we've got here, I did put the host code for December, which will go on all month. Um, and then if you decide to shop with this host code, um, if your order is uh, $60 or more, you will get four make and take projects. Okay, so thanks for bringing that up, Kathleen. I didn't mention it earlier. Okay, so let's talk about cute fruit. It, I got, I don't know if you guys have seen the stamp set before because it's actually not in the catalog. It is in this little brochure. So this brochure, we affectionately call it the beginner brochure, but it doesn't mean the stuff in here is just for beginners, but it does um, help you if you are unsure where to start or you're not a really experienced stamper. Um, so if you don't have one of these and you would like me to send you one, uh, make sure to message me and let me know, okay? Because it has all sorts of like different suggestions in here, which are great bundles on where to start if you have absolutely nothing, okay? So I got, I was looking at this page here, this uh, cute fruit cards and tags. They've got these great examples and Stampin' Up! even put together like a little bundle that they thought would work really well. 
So what I decided to do today is to try to limit myself to just using a few products, stamps, ink, and paper. Sip, take a sip. We're going to take a sip today. Okay, so stamps, I'm going to use the cute fruit. Ink, I'm going to use these um, starter ink spots. Okay, the reason why I chose these to highlight today is because they are um, a great value way to get started, to get a variety of colors without breaking the bank. So you get two, four, six, eight different colors, and it's, um, I believe it's only $33. Okay, so stamps, ink, and then paper. Okay, so the paper that I would recommend, I was looking at the ink spots, and the, one of the best things about Stampin' Up! is their color coordination. So a lot of the colors in here, one, two, three, four, five of the colors come from the Brights color family. So today, I want to make sure I am only using these items here. Okay, so these would be like suggested supplies to get started stamping if you have nothing. Okay, I know many of you watching this video might already have quite a few supplies, which is totally fine. You could probably use what you have and stamp along with me today. Um, but if you don't have anything, there are some basics that I would recommend. So I talked about stamps, I talked about ink, I talked about paper, but you'll also need some kind of adhesive. So today I'm going to be using the stamp and seal um, as well as a paper trimmer. Okay, I think that's really important. And then paper snips. Okay, so our great scissors and um, a block. So I'm going to be using all these items today. But you'll see just with these limited amount of items, we're going to be able to create two cute cards today. Okay, so why don't we get started? Are there any questions? Okay, so let's get started with our project. So we'll keep it super simple to start off with because we're gonna imagine um, you might be somebody who has never stamped before. Some of you are laughing watching this video because some of you have been stamping for longer than I have. So. This is Daffodil Delight. It comes in the Bright's assorted paper pack. It is eight and a half by 11 inches, and I am gonna cut it in half at four and a quarter. Okay, so this is where the trimmer is really useful and helpful because it gives you a very straight cut. It gives you uh, accurate measurements. The measurements on here go for every 16th of an inch, so you can get pretty exact with your measurements. Okay, and then the other great thing about our trimmer is it not only has a cutting blade, it also includes and comes with a scoring blade. So what that allows you to do is it makes like a score mark, an indent, so that when you fold it, it gives it more of a crisp, clean fold. So it doesn't cut the paper, it just indents the paper. So I just put my paper in, I measured it to five and a half, which is basically the halfway mark of this 11 inch sheet of paper. And see how it's got like a crease in there? So it's perfect just to fold it. And there we go, we have our card base. Okay, and then you remember I suggested the Bright's assorted paper pack. In that pack is um, a color called Granny Apple Green. So I'm gonna pull that out right now, the Granny Apple Green. And I am going to cut it <clears throat> at four and a quarter. Okay, uh, let's see, four and a quarter by three, I think is the measurement that I want. And four and a quarter. Okay. So one thing with card making is it's lovely to be able to layer our cards to give it just some more interest and texture. So this is our card base. This is a layer that we're gonna use and this is a very common measurement that we might use. Okay, four and a quarter by three. And then the other essential item you need when you're stamping is our Whisper White paper. 
I know this is on video and you can't touch it and you can't feel it, but you have to just take my, take my word for it that our Whisper White Paper is amazing. It has a very smooth finish. It allows you to um, stamp on it and the ink doesn't really bleed or like soak into the paper. It just gives a really crisp image. So I'm gonna grab some Whisper White and I am going to cut it a quarter of an inch smaller than this mat. So that means it's gonna be two and three quarters by four inches. Okay, so that's our layer. Okay, so this is almost like card making 101. Okay, so there we go. See how it makes that perfect layer? Okay, the other trick I always do is I always stamp before I stick. So, let's grab our stamps. Okay. So Stampin' Up! stamps are um, really high quality, and the reason why they're such high quality is because they manufacture it themselves. They manufacture their stamps themselves. So Stampin' Up! manufactures it themselves, so it actually gives them kind of that extra edge because they can control the quality because they are in charge of making it. <laughs> okay, so um, that means you don't usually have any problem with your stamps once you get them, but if you do, all you do is you call 1-800-STAMP-UP or if you ordered the stamps from me as your demonstrator, I'll help you with that because obviously occasionally defects do happen and we get it sorted out right away. No problem, no questions asked. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Cute Fruit stamp set. What I want you to notice about this stamp set is that it is a solid image stamp. So what that means, as opposed to an outline image stamp, okay? So there's kind of different kinds of, of uh, artwork images. This is a solid image stamp. So that means the ink that you use on the stamp will fill in the whole like image with color. As opposed to an outline image stamp, I don't have an example right in front of me, but you know, for example, like an outline, oh, maybe I do, no. Um, where it would be like just the outline of a flower and then you would have to find a way to color it yourself. So I think if you're getting started with stamping, um, the solid image stamps are great to start with, okay? So I don't know about you, but I am looking to stamp happy things right now. I just keep thinking about bright colors, <laughs> happy things. We need lots of happy happy colors, happy, happy things, <laughs> because there's a lot of unhappy things going on in the world. Okay, so this is another essential beginner item if you've never stamped before, it's called a Stampin' Block. Okay, and I find the most common size is D. Um, so if you're just starting out, D is a great one to get. But once you get going, I do recommend getting different sized blocks see that we have all these different sized blocks so that the stamp you're using matches better with the size of block you need. Okay, so if your budget allows you to get extra blocks, I would definitely do that. So these are photopolymer stamps and they stick right onto the block. So I am gonna take the liberty because I have so many blocks to go ahead and mount the stamps that I need. Okay, so it just sticks right on and when I'm done, I'll just peel it off and put it back into the case. And then I need the top of my pineapple. See, we got to stamp happy colors, happy things. I wish I was in Hawaii right now. That would really definitely make me feel happier because I am not a winter girl. I live in Canada, but I can't say I love winter. <laughs> can't say I love, love cold. Okay, and so remember I said we're gonna try to just use these ink spots because they're great um, for those of you just starting out. Um, obviously, if you are experienced with stamping, you would probably have the bigger size. But just for the, just for the sake of showing how to use a spot, I've got quite a few of them. You just peel, take off the lid, and all you're going to do is, I find it easier to tap the spot onto the stamp, and that's how you're going to ink it up. Of course, you could do it the other way too. You could kind of ink it up like that, whatever works. Okay, and so the color that I'm using here is the one that comes in the starter spot kit. It's basic gray, okay? 
and the sweet sentiment. I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend. And stamping is so easy. You just go straight down and straight up. Okay. And then let's do the pineapple. Oh, you can see my ink spot. This one's really well loved. But anyway, same idea. We're going to ink it up. This one's with Daffodil Delight, so it's going to match with our, our cardstock really nicely. Okay, straight down, straight up. And I didn't actually have a Granny Apple Green one, so I'm going to use this one from Granny Apple Green and see how the colors match with our cardstock. So one pack of Bright's Assorted cardstock will be perfect. So those of you watching this video that are experienced stampers, I'm hoping this video will be useful for you too because you probably have some friends that you wish you could share stamping with them, that you wish you could enjoy stamping things together and just having fun stamping together and showing each other what you're making. Stamping is a whole community hobby. <laughs> it's not just for yourself. It's always fun to enjoy with friends. So you can those of you who are avid stampers and wish you had more stamping friends to share with, you can just share this video with your friends and show them how easy it is. That is it. And then remember I talked about uh, our seal adhesive. Okay. And you just roll it. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't come out right away. You just kind of keep rolling it and eventually it just starts coming out. Okay. And there we go. That is card number one. Sweet, simple, easy, and all we used was stamps, ink, and paper. Okay. So remember that list I showed in the beginning if you had never stamped before? Okay, so you can see how the products I highlighted here were used on this card. But then you might say to yourself, hmm, is that the only style of card I can make? Is that the only look that all my cards will have? No, let's do something else. Let's make a card that is made. This is a card that's going portrait. Let's make one that's going landscape style. Okay, so I'm going to use Whisper White. I'm going to use that as my base this time. Okay, so Let's check if it's cut at four and a quarter. Oh, oh. Okay. So, let's check. Is that at four and a quarter? Yep. And then we'll go at five and a half. Let's see what the next card is. Okay. And for those, oh, I forgot to give the date. Normally I give the date of of uh, when I'm doing my live. Today is December, oh, I did give the date, right? December the 1st, 2020. Okay, so these are two of the cards that you'll get free with your order in December, as long as your order is $60 or more. Um, I'll mail out some make and take projects for you. Okay, so da -da -da. now, remember I talked about using um, um, coordinating paper. The Bright's Assorted cardstock pack is great. Ah, <laughs> I'm looking at my desk. I forgot all these things I wanted to say. I might have to redo this whole video. But anyway, okay, so let's, uh, let's get some of the, the colors that I wanted to get. We're going to use some Granny Apple Green. We're going to use some um, Coastal Cabana, I think is a nice color. Let's use some Costa Cabana. Let's use some Mango Melody. Okay, so these are all included in the um, Bright's Assortment Pack. Hopefully that's okay. And then Daffodil Delight. Let's get some of that. Okay. Um, and Gorgeous Grape. Let's use some Gorgeous Grape. Purple is my, my team color, so I'm kind of partial to purple. Okay, so I think that's good. Let's do some cutting now. 
This is our card base. Okay. Are you guys curious what this card is going to turn into? I'm going to actually create little strips that are three quarter of an inches wide by five inches long. Okay, so I'm just cutting it at three quarter inches by five inches. Okay, so let's make a few strips. Okay, I think bright colors are just cheerful. Even making the card cheers me up, and I'm hoping that the person I give the card to will also feel a sense of cheer. Okay. I just always save my scraps because you never know when you might need them. Do you save your scraps when you're doing crafts? Okay. It's done. Granny Apple Green. We're going to do three quarters of an inch by five inches. Okay. And by five inches. Okay. So the colors are a big deal with Stampin' Up! And you can see why. Because Having the colors match, having the colors coordinate, having the quality of the paper where the color is dyed all the way through so you don't see a white core, all of that is really helpful when we are crafting. Okay, I'm going to cut the Mango Melody at two and a half inches here, two and a half inches square. Okay, so what else am I going to do with this cute fruit stamp set? We're using exactly the same products, okay? But we're going to create a different card. We're using the Cute Fruit stamp set. We're using the um, cardstock from the Assorted Brights collection. We're using Whisper White cardstock. Um, and we're going to use the ink that is available in as part of the classic, <coughs> excuse me, classic stamp and spot assortment. Sorry, I just had to get a drink there. All this talking makes my throat dry. Okay. <coughs> okay, so let's... Don't panic. I feel like uh, even anyone in my household, anyone who coughs, everybody's like, are you okay? Are you sick? Okay, don't panic. Um, okay, so let's use a different image. Instead of the pineapple image, I'm going to go for this cute little banana. Okay, where's our little banana guy? So, oh, let's clean our stamps. Okay, and then we can move forward from there. So the chamois is a quick and easy way to clean. You just literally rub it into the chamois, give it a little twist, and then it's a quick clean. It works really well for photopolymer stamps, which these ones are. The photopolymer stamps are the clear see-through stamps. Stampin' Up! also sells rubber stamps, but um, this cute fruit set is one of these photopolymer ones. Okay, so I'm going to put the pineapple pieces back, and then we'll go on to our next card. Okay, just to show you how using exactly the same products, you can create a totally different card. So let's go with the banana image. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And it's fun. The banana image doesn't just have a banana. It actually has the little stem as the top of the banana. So I'm going to grab that as well and put that on my little block. Um, I think. And then there's also these like funny faces. So I'm going to grab that as well. Let's see whether I can get another little block here. I've got the luxury of having all kinds of different blocks. This one has a mustache. Not the block, the stamp. It's really cute. Okay, here we go. And we'll get some Whisper White paper. Let's see whether we can cut our piece. I want it two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Okay, sorry, I should have cut it in the beginning. 
Does that work? No, it's not the right size. Hang on. Take a bigger piece. I keep all my scraps, which sometimes makes it messier, but it's also in very hugely satisfying when you feel like you don't have to cut into a brand new piece of paper when you have just the right size scrap. Okay. Okay, so I cut that two and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. I'm gonna stamp my little banana using the Daffodil Delight Spot. Okay. Okay, hold on a minute. I have to think about this. Which way which way is the top of the banana? Which way is the bottom of the banana? Okay. But I will use a little scrap to do another little banana. With the Daffodil Delight. Okay. And then I uh, will use the basic gray to do the little stem on our banana. This is gonna look so cute. Okay. Do another one here. Okay, and then we need our little face. So we'll give one a little mustache face. Isn't he cute? I bet you didn't even know the stamp set had a little face with a mustache. Okay, and then we'll put a little happy face on the other one, on our other banana. Okay. That's another great thing about Stampin' Up! Stamps is they tend to be sold in sets. So you can get a lot with just one stamp set. And this one's great because it has words and pictures. Okay, so let's put our happy face on this one. See, just looking at that, doesn't that make you feel cheerful? We're gonna trim our little banana, just fussy cut it with some scissors. Our paper snips are great. So that is a great investment if you don't have a pair of paper snips. It's got a sharp edge and it's very easy to handle. Okay. There we go, there's our little banana. And another essential item are dimensionals, which are little foam pop-ups because it just gives a little lift. So I'm gonna put these dimensionals on the back of this banana, peel off the backing Just put that other banana there. And we even have a little saying. I think the smile would be super cute here. So I'm gonna put the word smile on here. And then we're gonna finish up our card. So we did two cards today. Okay, there we go. What happened to my card base? So this time let's try a landscape card and we'll just lay the strips across. I kind of wanna eyeball it here so it's kind of centered. But the great thing about paper crafting is if it's not perfect, that's how you prove you made it with love. Okay. I think that's gonna work. Let's try that. Okay, so see sometimes the seal doesn't come out right away, but if you just keep rolling, it just, it just starts coming out. Okay, I think using strips is a great way to add some pop of color. How are we doing there? Okay, can you believe 
just with stamps, ink, and paper. This is uh, Stampin' Up's been encouraging us to do this. They tell us to use the hashtag simple stamping to show that we don't need to invest $2 billion into this hobby. You can just enjoy using stamps, ink, and paper. Take a sip. Stamps, ink, and paper and create cute things. And today we're just focusing on the... I'm going to put it on a bit of an angle to make it more fun. And then we'll pop it up with some dimensionals. Okay, and there we go. So there's so many ways I can think of to jazz it up, but there we go. <laughs> I'm just reading Kathy's comment, but we do. I don't know. I don't think I spent $2 million, but okay. So these are two cards that I made today, just using stamps, ink, and paper just using some basic supplies like a stamp set, the starter ink spot, a seal adhesive, oops, I'll move this out of the way, a block, paper snips, is there anything else? Some dimensionals, okay, and some cardstock, the Bright's assorted pack and some Whisper White, and look at what we made. Okay, so hopefully you get a sense of how easy it is to get started with stamping. And of course, if this stamp set doesn't float your boat, the same concept can still be applied. You could just choose a different stamp set. I didn't get a chance, but I was thinking I could make up some cards using this one if you're more of a floral kind of person. You could use exactly the same strategy with using these spots, just using the cardstock that's available in the assorted cardstock pack, and just use different images. Okay, so that is that. Okay, let me flip this around and then we can chat. Hang on a minute. Okay. Thanks guys for watching as I was trying to do a video that would work for brand new stampers and I didn't even realize how hard it is to not um, use special stamping language and things that those of us who are regular stampers, we all know. Um, it just made me think a little, think through like what would somebody who's brand new need to know? So. Tell me what you think about my brand new stamping um, projects and tell me what you think about my brand new stamping lesson. I went and got these kits because I wanted to talk about the kits too, but totally forgot. Um, and maybe share share that this video with somebody who has never stamped before and ask them if they understand what I'm, what I'm showing. Does it make sense? I would love to know what other people think, whether this kind of video would be helpful for those who have never stamped before, who have never tried stamping before, who, um, you know, would want to know kind of where to start. Um, oh, it's funny. I just saw Serena commenting and she was somebody who asked me like, what should I get to get started? And it's funny. It's like, if I were teaching golfing or something, would I know? Well, you need a golf club, you need a golf bag, you need, you know, golf gloves, like, and it's the same thing with stamping. Well, we just need some stamps, we need some ink, we need some paper, and we need them all to coordinate. <laughs> so that's basically what I was trying to show. Thanks for letting me share that. For those of you who tune in regularly, you'll know that I love to see your comments. So go ahead and comment. I'll still be doing a draw next week for anyone who comments. And also those of you who have been watching, can you guess what the product of the month is? So I'll, I'll as I mentioned earlier, that I won't be doing Tuesday at two on the December 22nd or 29th, but I will be doing um, up, up until then, I will be doing it on Tuesdays at two. So the product of the month, will be the cute fruit, okay? Um, because it's just such a happy stamp set. <laughs> and it encourages me to use bright, cheerful colors. So 
We'll see what we create next week. Make sure to tune in back Tuesday at 2. And um, let me know uh, if you want to register for any classes. The deadline for December classes is today. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I am still doing a customer appreciation. Every year between Christmas and New Year's, I normally do a customer appreciation. So I'm still going to do it. If I'm allowed to meet in person, I will offer an in-person option. I've rented a community center, so um, it's really, really spacious. So I'm hoping we'll have enough people if you want to come out in person and uh, see some of the new spring products, please come out. Um, just register on that website link. I'm trying to get the invites out. If you have shopped with me in the past year, then you get to come for free. If you haven't, you can still come. It's just $15. But I will do a virtual option too, obviously, for those who are long distance or who aren't comfortable coming out. Totally understandable. So, and really, if we end up not being able to meet in person, I'm not going to do a huge crowd. It's really only like four at a time, five at a time, something like that. But if we're not even allowed to do that, um, then everybody will just do the virtual option. Okay, so more details about that will be coming, but you can mark your calendar for this, uh, January 2nd is the in-person. January 3rd will be the virtual. Okay, so yeah, sometimes it's good to just do a SIP card, Debbie says. <laughs> Stamps, ink, and paper. We need to be reminded. So next week, I'm gonna gonna take it up a notch. I might uh, might include some punches or embellishments it took me a lot to hold back and not put some candy dots all over it or whatever <laughs> but i wanted to have a video which would be good for those who have never done stamping before so thanks for tuning in we'll see you next week tuesday at two and norma you were the winner from last week so make sure to message me your address so i can send you a little prize thanks talk to you later bye